Hello and good evening to all. Myself Vaibha. I hope you are doing well for the day. As we get started for the session involving a new indicator, this is a pattern detector used widely in the financial markets. The name is Doji Candlestick. We will be concerned with the Dragonfly and Gravestone Doji here, and we will see how we can take the help of this pattern to look for profitable trading opportunities. Both in the bullish as well as in the bearish momentum. So let us get started for the day. This is the Visual J Forex board developed by the Decoscopy Bank SA. You will find this indicator listed amongst the pattern indicator. There is one and the only one indicator in the listing. And coming to input parameters, we have to define three input parameters depending on which we will be getting a output and output is going to be quite simple it is going to be integer 0 or 1 so that's about it there is nothing complex about this and it will confirm whether the underlying candle the candle for that particular time frame whether it is 10 minutes 5 minutes hour 4 hours whatever time period you choose is a, a doji candle or not that's about it and then we have to look for favorable trading conditions in that environment, whether we want to go long or whether we want to go short. So coming to these parameters, all we need to do is get the instrument of choice, then define the given time frame, and of course the look back period, whether you are considering the current candle or the prior candle, or if you want to go back in time, then accordingly you have to take this look back period ranging from zero to one two three four whatever you want okay now i will explain to you the logic the logic is kind of simple we don't really have to spend much of brain power on understanding what the logic is and here i will first add the indicator so for that let's do a quick search all right here it is CDL Doji, that's Doji candlestick. I will enlarge the map. And I hope you can now see on the chart. These are the Doji candles. Doji candles are quite simple, quite easy to spot. Most of the time when we see the closing and the opening value for the given candlestick being close to each other, it is almost like closing on the same price, not exactly the same price, but fairly close. And uh, if that happens, we consider it to be a doji candle. And it can be of three types. It can have the opening and the closing value closer to the top. It can have the opening or closing value closer to the middle. Or, of course, the third option is it can have the closing value and the opening value closer to the bottom. These are the main types of these uh, doji formation and um, in the infinite possibilities of course the closing and opening prices can be anywhere starting from top to bottom but here for this session we are only concerned with two types of formation where we have the opening and the closing value fairly close to the top and the opening and closing value fairly close to the bottom so these are the formation we will be trying to exploit for finding the trading opportunities where we will be having higher probabilities of profit so for any long trade we want the buying momentum to be strong so we will look for such an opportunity where if in the given hour we are seeing the price starting on the higher side then dipping and then reversing in that uh, hour itself and coming back to close on the higher side closer to the opening price with a little bit of gains in the process then that gives us the idea that the underlying momentum is fairly strong. We have seen a sort of correction and that correction has been filled up, has been wiped out in that R itself and uh, the prior candle has also closed with gains. Then that is indicative of the fact that bullish momentum is strong and we can expect the momentum to prevail for uh, at least next couple of hours. Though that's the plan, that's the logic we are going to use. So this kind of formation, we will look to buy. And if we have the wise 
was the formation where we have the closing value and the opening value on the lower side closer to the bottom where the momentum has been bearish initially then we will uh, look to initiate the sell trade so for that let me look for a favorable formation where we might think so somewhere around here we have this opening and closing value concentrated closer to this uh, bottom and in the prior hours the decline was also there so that means the momentum has been bearish and in the given hour we had this uh, move where the start was on the lower side then correction happened and then the correction was erased and we saw the prices falling lower so that is indicative of the bearishness in the underlying instrument and that is the time when we will look to initiate the sell trade so that's the logic is for our formation we will be taking the last hourly candles doji formation along with the prior hours price formation and uh, if the momentum is bearish then we will look to initiate the sale trade if the momentum is bullish then of course we will look to initiate the buy trade and uh, to make sure we are uh, getting these uh, readings right we will have to compare these uh, tail and the weeks length we will have to make sure that the price is concentrated on the lower side when we are looking to sell so we will do the comparison between the length of the top of the candle and the opening price when we are looking for the bearish formation with the bottom the low of the that particular candle and the closing price and when we are looking for the buy trade we will also do the similar comparison we will have to here also compare the length of the tail and the week and it should be uh, i am taking uh, this value as per my observation if you want to go with a different ratio you can go with that as well so we will go with the ratio of 1 is to 4 so whatever is the weeks length we will need the tails length to be at least four times of that when we are looking to initiate the buy trade and whatever is the length of let me check that hourly candle which we had used as a example so here whatever is the length of the week it should be at least four times more than the length of this tail so that's what we are going to rely on the price formation should be favorable enough so we have this kind of formation all right so now we head back to the visual j forex board where we try to implement the idea so for that to get started first thing first we have to do is get the instrument subscription done and that calls for the components logical components we are going to need so i am going to take these a block three of these All right. Auto created variables. First, we take default variable which is this default instrument then we match it with the candle instrument and then we match candle instrument with the instrument of choice and I will take euro USD as the instrument of choice So here it is.
All right. Now, let's consider the position amount data. All position, position amount, it should be equal to zero to make sure there is no existing open or pending position prior to the execution of the new trade. After that, we bring in this block of doji candlestick. We will work with the hourly formation. So I will change the candle period to hourly. And the lookback period will be one. All right. Then we consider the price action data. So for that, I'm going to use info component, the gate historical candle. We are going to need four of this. Candle period of hourly. This one will also be hourly. Candle period of 10 seconds. This one also will be changed to 10 seconds. Look back period of 1. and two respectively same thing here with 10 second blocks this will also be changed with the look back period of one and two respectively all right now to consider the difference between the opening closing top and the low prices we have to get some calculation expression blocks and uh, get some basic calculations done so for that we are going to use the mathematical component i'm not sure exactly how many of these we are going to need so we will add this as we go now coming to the candle 15's data we need to find out how long the week is week is the topmost part of the candle and the tail tail is the lower part of the candle so for that there will be two different scenarios as we are also going to rely on how that particular candle had closed whether it had closed higher compared to the opening price or whether it had closed lower compared to the opening price. So that uh, adds to the complexity of the situation. So for that, we will deduct the closing price from the top one time and close opening price from top in another situation. So this time around, we work with candle in candle high. 
and deduct candle 15 candle close from it so this one will be a1 minus a2 this will be E H D all right and another time we take candle fifteen candle high and deduct candle 15 candle open same calculation a1 minus a2 and this will be named as h all right now we also have to consider the difference from the bottom so for that we have to again reverse this calculation and deduct the candle 15 candle low from opening and the closing price so for that we are going to need two more of these calculation expression blocks So we now take candle 15, candle open and candle 15, candle close and deduct candle low in both the calculations. Candle 15, candle low is going to be the common parameter. So this one will be a1 minus A2 All right This will be named SLD And this difference will be named BLD I have to define the actual calculations also this is going to be E1 minus E2 all right so we have these calculations in place place where the variables have been defined to look at the actual difference between the closing values and the opening value with the high and the low for the last hourly candle which we then utilize to set the condition for the actual execution of the trade but uh, for the day we stop here and when we come back we will deal with the buy side of the equation and then subsequently we will also define the conditions for the execution of the sell trade so that's it from my side for today if you have any query or any idea to share on the logical as well as the execution part of this session you can write back to me in the feedback section for further coverage of the market developments do check out the decoscopy analytics page we are also available on the facebook you can reach out to us there for carrying out testing on the historical data, you will need the assistance of the J4X platform. So all these helpful links have been provided in the bio. Thank you all for joining in. See you next time around. Till then, goodbye.